Hello and welcome back to Demon's Souls, where I am not behind the Vanguard Demon, and my souls are not there to be gotten because, uh, well, the souls aren't there because I, uh, made a mistake and fought a few skeletons more than I could handle. And so I, I died. But also I'm not behind it because I discovered this. It was just here, open this whole time. I always just went straight for the stairs, not even bothering to look over here, but this is here. And there's a red eye double sword wielding skeleton. Ooh, that's a low number. Okay, I think for this guy, yeah, we'll be better off using the halberd. Just gotta poke him in the back a bunch of times. I wonder, does it count as him, like, wearing armor or something? Is that why our fists aren't doing so well? And what have we got? What were you guarding? A Crescent Falchion plus one. And a bunch of soul remains. Alright, I did clean out the catacombs and stuff on the way to the vanguard demon as well as the two sky ray things that were shooting at us but i don't see why i shouldn't just come at it from the front here there's more space to maneuver also unless he's gonna do something to me no reason i shouldn't grab that All right, time for one last attempt at bringing this fella down. I wonder, how will this do? I know it's my last pine resin and I'll probably regret that. Ow! Buddy, has anyone told you it's rude to open up with the horizontal sweep? Uh, you should be doing the vertical. Yeah, that one. Alright, so we're slapping him for almost 80 per hit. That's not the worst. Ow! Whoop! Thought I was out of his reach, but his reach is slightly farther than I expect it to be. And now we're back here. Hello, Skeleton. Punch, punch, punch. There we go. I don't know what it is, but the skeletons here near these stairs, for whatever reason, the game is less willing to give me backstabs for, even though my eyes tell me that I should be in the position required to backstab. Or back punch, as the case may be. It was specifically this group that killed me. And I felt really bad about it, because, like, I saw my health coming down. Because, like, I, I must have come a little too far forward when I started killing one of them, and the other came and joined, and... Yeah, it was just a bad time. 
How do I get that item over there? So my souls are over here somewhere. Where are they? Oh. They're under his foot. That's not ideal. Let's deal with these archers before we uh, work on getting our souls back. One of these days I'll remember that that trap is there. Or maybe not, because it has pretty much never mattered. Thought the floor was collapsing, it was just a barrel. So, just there we witnessed another thing that gives me a little trouble with these skeletons. And it's that the camera, when you're trying to walk around something while locked onto it, at some point the camera just decides to be somewhere else and cause you to move in a different direction than the one you were holding. Which, when you're trying to get behind someone to backstab them or trying to avoid an attack that's going to open up your guard... Yeah, it's not ideal. Okay, let's get out our compound longbow. Let's actually send our compound shortbow to Stockpile Thomas, because apparently we can just do that from wherever. The regular longbow can also go to Stockpile Thomas. I missed. I'm not going to miss this time. There. That's him dealt with. And now we need you. Missed. 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 I do not have many more arrows. I need to be more careful. So we'll wait for this one to start circling back. And then we'll put our shot right about there. And miss. Okay, we'll wait for it to be coming back towards us this way. It's easier to hit it when it's coming towards you rather than going laterally relative to you. I mean, it's still going laterally, but... Okay, how did that hit it? And perhaps more importantly, why was it far enough away to do so little damage? Okay. Only four arrows left. That is far from ideal. That's not my shadow. Whose shadow? Oh, it's the banner. It's the banner's shadow. It just looks like it's got two legs and a cape. Oh, hello. Had me worried for a moment. Because it looked like a humanoid shadow. Where's the skeleton we knocked down? The archer. Because I know it's not dead. Oh, you didn't think it was worth coming back? Well, sucks for you. I thought it was worth coming back for you. So yeah, there's no way for me to just hop up on this wall and walk. How does one get to that item? Does it fall down from above? I doubt it. But it is an item and therefore it must be gettable. Because there exist no items in this game that I'm aware of that cannot be got. Well, there's a message on top of that, so maybe it is gettable by just coming down from above. That almost looked like it worked. Maybe it can work. Aha! Thank you. Ooh, that is a thing that, yes, that's a really useful thing. Shame equipping it puts me back above 50% equip burden. 
That's the trouble with equip burden rings. Once you put them on, you basically never get to take them off unless your stats go way up. Is that a landable place? No, but that lizard exists. Oh, it's running. It spotted me. Well, I spotted you too, lizard. There's no getting away from this. Moonshade stone. Whatever that's for. Oh, hello. Fog wall. Don't want to go through that just yet. Oh. We got another one trying to get us. So it looks like if I drop onto this beam, then we can do a little tightrope walk here. Grab this. Neat. What's that for? Oh, okay. Where am I relative to anything? Or at least relative to anything that I know. Because there don't appear to be any additional paths from here. It looks an awful lot like it's uh, fog gate or nowhere. Well, could I go this way and hop back over to somewhere I already know? Or no? Oh, yes. Okay, we can get up that tiny ledge. Can we get up this? Nope. Can I get over this? I don't trust that. So I guess we have to take the fog gate and just hope we can work our way back to where our souls were. Probably would have been a good idea to get the souls before I hopped down, but then again, I expected to be able to just walk over that little gap in the wall. So, yeah, there's no additional pathway up here because this is all bricked up. And so... Oh, wait. Did I just... I just accidentally found an additional pathway, didn't I? Wait. This is where we came in. That's the fog wall. Okay, yeah. There was an additional pathway the whole time. Valuable trap ahead. Oh, hello. Another fog wall. I'm guessing they're saying valuable trap because you can, like, use it to help with him. Okay, just making sure that wasn't illusory. Um, so the fog wall that's guarded by a red-eyed skeleton, I would think, is the one that's more likely to be... Why can I not go through this? What? Okay, I guess uh, that fog wall isn't real. Hmm, this is a problem. Excuse me, sir. So the problem with fighting things on stairs is if you are on stairs, it becomes almost impossible to actually do backstabs. At least 
if one of you is above the other. It's significantly harder. If you're level on the stairs, then it's a little easier, but still not as easy as on flat ground. Or maybe that's not a thing and I'm just bad. Who knows? But that guy's dead now. Don't I have a thing I can use to get back to the Nexus without losing all my souls or anything? I think that might be a good thing to use right now. Um, not that, but this. Because this way I can go back to the Nexus, then return here, and still have a chance to get all my souls without going somewhere that I don't necessarily have the ability to come back from. So, let's use. And since I'm not using a Nexial Binding or dying to return here, I should still have the ability to reclaim my lost souls. So yeah, let's uh, let's see if that is a true thing, or whether I just wasted an archstone shard, because that's also a possibility. You're so quick. Yeah, definitely better to use fists on regular skeleton. Armored Skeleton, maybe not so much. But regular Skeleton, they get punches. This Skeleton dropped a surprising amount of blood. Yeah, we, we are punching a whole lot of blood out of these skeletons. Wait, are there more skeletons here now? Why are there two of you? Got him. And then those guys are still up there, because that's just a thing. Are my souls still down here by your foot? They are. Good. You hang on to them for me for a bit. I'll be back. Again, one of these days, I might remember that that trap exists. Oh, while I was in the Nexus, I really should have grabbed more arrows. That would have been smart. Punching more blood out of a skeleton. I mean, they clearly have at least a little more on them than just bone. Whoops. But, like, the fact that doing the, uh... Well, I hesitate to call it a backstab, considering I'm using my fists, but... Doing the that. Wait, did the other one fall down? Did I just run up for no reason? Yep. Oh, well. Okay. Okay, let's get our souls back. And we are not here to fight this vanguard demon. We are here for our souls. Buddy, I, I need those. I need you to not 
do that. Okay, we need to not get killed by a freaking stingray that we can't even see. Well, that's a good excuse to go on back and get some more arrows. I just warped back to this exact place. At least the loads are fast. I don't like losing all my souls. It's kind of the whole reason I wear a cling ring is to make it less likely for me to lose all my souls. Thomas. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch on your belongings. Don't you worry. Oh, I'm not worried. I trust you, man. Uh, arrows. I guess we've got a few more arrows than I expected, but could certainly stand to have more. Not 240 more. That would be a little overkill. But 80 more. No, 80 more might be a little much, too, because our item burden's getting up there. Um, bye. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. Oh, I won't. Okay, we need to send more stuff to Thomas, because we are weighted down. Um, what can I give to him? Well, this full moon grass, is that seven pounds for all of it? Let's send five. Yeah, that's for all of it, okay. Well, we didn't need all that much full moon grass, so save some weight there. Um, yeah, don't need to carry these in my pockets. That's gotten rid of a good amount. Wait, why does this one... Oh, it scales with magic. Interesting. I don't have the magic to make that really work. But, it is a weapon that does magic damage that I can wield. So that actually might be worth keeping around. This, on the other hand, not so much. As much as I'd like to be able to wield this thing just to see what's up with the bleed... I can't wield it right now, so storage. And I don't need two of these. And I didn't equip the leather gloves because I didn't have to. Storage. And these, absolutely storage. That'll save a lot. And rings are light enough we can keep them all for now. Okay. Now we're traveling much lighter. So we can go back, get our souls back again, and then actually get somewhere new. Well, I mean, we've already been somewhere new, but we can... We can go past where the Vanguard Demon is. If I got myself a little bit more vitality and maybe upgraded my halberd another once or twice. Just something so that we could take a hit, like, for sure, while not being absolutely full. And also make it so that we could uh, do just a smidge more damage per hit. Because as is, we need to hit that Vanguard Demon a bunch of times without really being hit ourselves in order to bring it down. And that's just not a reasonable situation to put myself in. See, now there's only one skeleton coming down here. 
I guess this guy is just... He aggros when I take one step too far. And that one step is just in the right spot that uh, you can fight the first one without getting his attention. Alright, let's go deal with the guys up top again. Set the trap again. The fact that the trap only goes off once per visit. Like, you need to reload the area for the trap to stop uh, being deactivated. Whoops. Okay, time to head back up. Yeah, if the trap went off every time I went through there, then I might be more likely to remember it. And if it actually did anything through my shield. Which it does not. Okay, now get our longbow out. Ow. Alright, that's him taken care of. He dropped an item, but it's probably just grass. But grass is good and useful, but it's probably just grass. Not super worth chasing down. So this thing's actually farther out than it looks. I guess they're freaking huge. I need a good... Is this really the best place to snipe it from? How about you? Is this the best place to snipe you from? Could be. But that would feel really cheap. So that's that one down. How many times would I have to shoot this guy to bring him down? More times than I have arrows, that's for sure. I like how his face wobbles when I hit it, but he doesn't do anything about it. Just like, ow. 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 Yeah, not going to do that. That's the coward's way out. So I'm going to get my souls, fall back to somewhere safe, take the catacombs, and then come out behind him and go through that fog gate. That's my plan. My souls are uncomfortably close to him. Why is there an item here? What dropped this? Was it the Sky Ray? Okay. Ow. Okay. Um, he's a little too close to my souls. At least closer than I want him to be. Do an overhead strike. Whoop. Wasn't expecting the second swing. That's on me. Overhead strike, please. Okay, you know what? I got my souls. We're good. Who needs catacombs? I sure don't. Ow. Ow. I don't like you. Like, you look neat. But when you just spear me out of nowhere, 
It's less fun. Just reconfirming how much damage he takes from cowardice at a closer distance. And does your belly take any more or less? Nope. Your face and your belly take the same amount. I'm going to stop wasting my arrows now. Maybe someday I'll come back with a hundred, or a few hundred arrows. Take him down. Or maybe I'll come back with just a better halberd or better stats. Who knows? But now we're through that fog gate. Oh, hi, fellas. I see that ladder. Oop. Ow. Oh, hi, Red Eyes. I'm glad I didn't walk past that little opening. Or this opening, I guess, would let us in to fight him. So, let's unequip that so that we can properly punch Skeleton. Don't you come for me, Red Eyes. I'm not coming for you. I'm just dealing with this guy. Don't want no trouble. Okay, so that's the area I was in from taking the alternate path. Avoid projectiles. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh. I see it. Well, I avoided projectiles. Let's have a little bit of grass. I like being at full health. When I am about to fight... A red-eyed skeleton. Is it just me or does this one seem like he's got more health than the last ones? let my guard get broken so easily. My guard is kind of important to me, and I need it unbroken. Well, that third strike just breaks the guard, does it? One more strike will do him in. I almost let him do me in in an attempt to give it to him, though. A backstab will do it. Safer, too. Well, that doesn't feel worth it. Does this? Maybe. So, is this one of those you can vault over them deals, or... I don't want to try, because I don't want to go down there right now. I'm just curious. How about this ladder? Where does this go? Any more sky rays around? None here. And what have you got? Useful. Oh. Now, before I go dropping down anywhere... Eh, it looks like we could come back up. Oh, hello. Sky rays. Are these ones close enough to try and be jerks? Maybe. Evidence thus far says no. But it could always be wrong. Is this the extent of this area? Yeah, that looks like death if I try and go down there. I bet this bloodstain will say the same. Yep, I'm going to not try that.
So if we come here, go back down the ladder. And this is down where we came in from. So, what if we go this way past the item? Smells like progress. Look at right. Ooh. We're on the other side of that chasm. And now we're pretty well stuck here. Okay, so now we know that one's close enough to try and get us. Oh, hello. Let me get out my fist. Oh. Your weapon is slightly longer than I had anticipated. You've also got some health. And a stingray friend. No, the item? Well, so much for that item. As for you... Oh, there's two of them. Okay, I need to deal with them before playing with that skeleton. Ow. I can't get them from this close. At least not from this far below them. Where is it? Where, where is it gone? I don't have eyes on it. Okay. There's you. Okay, they're both here. Get out of here. Okay, we got one. And this other one's going to be a jerk to us. Oh, they got out of the way of that. Okay. So this one, we gotta wait for it to come closer. And it's gonna be trying to get us the entire time. That's unfortunate. Yeah, come on in, buddy. Gotcha. Alright, Mr. Skeleton, I'm ready for you. Come here. Please, don't make me come to you. You've probably got friends behind you. In fact, I can see the blue eyes of one. What do you have against that wooden barricade? Okay, 171 for the halberd backstab. Why, why is that not a backstab? 131 for a fist backstab. That's not as good. So these guys, Halberd might be the better option. Bad time for rolling? Yeah, looks like it. And we've got another big old sword guy. There. Turns out if you punch him enough, he dies. Okay, so this is the other side of that fog gate that we found. So now we're in familiar territory that we previously reached through a uh, method that we weren't supposed to. And from here, we can continue on. Right? exist. Yo, red eyes. 
You and me. So I do 14 with my halberd. I do 8 with my fist. Yeah, I think I'll keep using the halberd. Oh. Got him even though he was upstairs from us. And down he goes. Did I just shove him all the way into the wall? I guess so. Help, please. The next enemy's weakness is the head. Are we about to fight a boss? Is that what this is? I mean, certainly big enough to be a boss. Well... It's about time to end this episode anyway, so join us next time when we go through here and see whose weakness is the head. See you then, friends.